We've been talking about living with addiction. I'm joined once again by Amy Johnston, Dr. Newhausen, and now Scott Hesseltine from Centerstone. These partnerships with United Healthcare and organizations like Centerstone, Amy, they're imperative. Absolutely. As we continue the discussion, we're so excited to have Centerstone with us to really talk about how we're working to improve health outcomes in the community through the amazing programs that they have to offer to the people that we serve. The epidemic opioid, I mean, it's been established. We know that is a real and tremendous problem in our community. One of the ways that you're treating that, though, Dr. Newhausen, is medication-assisted treatment. What is that? So medication-assisted treatment is the combination of counseling and medications such as methadone, suboxone, Vivitrol that result in the best outcomes for individuals. Um, medication-assisted treatment leads to higher survival rates, 50% decreased risk of overdose, um, longer time in treatment, fewer relapses, increased ability to get, your, to get and keep a job, and helps pregnant women with opioid use disorder have health, healthier babies. So pregnant women are eligible for this treatment as well, which is so important. Absolutely, and we have wonderful partners like Centerstone that have special programs for pregnant women in addition to the whole robust continuum of evidence-based addiction treatment. Before we talk about what you offer, Scott, in a nutshell, what is Centerstone? Sure, Centerstone is a large community mental health center. We provide safety net services to uh, Louisville, uh, Jefferson County, and the six surrounding counties, children and family services, adult mental health services, addiction services, as well as developmental and intellectual disabilities. How is Centerstone? own tackling this issue in our community? Sure. Well, it is a comprehensive approach and it really requires us to work collaboratively across the community. We're providing evidence-based, high-quality treatment services. We're utilizing medications to assist recovery, but that's in the context of robust recovery-related services because we know recovery occurs in the context of the community, really moving from clinical management to self-management in the community keep asking this throughout the hour, but are you seeing success stories? We absolutely are. Uh, we're just beginning to see some of the overdose rates decline. Recent data released last week showed a 20% decrease in Louisville and 15.5% across the Commonwealth. And I'd really attribute that to the effectiveness of the Kentucky opioid response effort led by Dr. Katie Marks uh, at the Cabinet for Health and Family Services. A very strategic uh, approach, which is shown to be effective, uh, but we're just beginning. I feel like we should be seeing that from the rooftops. To hear you say that you're seeing this go down is wonderful. We will continue this conversation coming up.